The world was not always covered in miasma. As a matter of fact, we used to live all over the surface of the Earth, in scattered outposts and bustling cities. Whether it was by divine punishment or by consequence of human greed, we lost all those things, and more. These days, folks live on barren mountaintops, fearing the day the miasma's fog rises high enough to poison what little land there is left. Certainly, there were a brave few who tried to stem the tide, but they paid dearly for it, with nothing in return. No, there is little hope for long-term survival now. Instead, towns like Little Rock endure to thrive as much as they possibly can. With the time they have left, they establish initiatives like the Homestead Arcana Program, which places witches of age at lower elevations so they may cultivate plants for back home. With the lack of viable land, this means witches settle right next to the border where the miasma lies. Though Little Rock Council cannot officially take action, they strongly advise these witches to avoid the miasma at all costs. For fear of death, or worse. This is your stop, ain't it? Got everything on you, bud? Mm -hmm. Thanks for the ride, Abraham. <sighs> yep. Well, see you later. It's unwilling, of course. There it is, the Dust Eater. That means we've reached our spot. This place is hardly changed. Well, except for all that miasma. You didn't notice? Trust me, all that purple gas didn't used to be so high up. But what can you do? Anyway, Councilman Narrows has given me the honor of overseeing your initiation rites. Normally, he'd be running it, of course, but... 
I've only been back for a week, you know? I wanted to see for myself how much you've improved since I last saw you. So the first right is to establish a home. After all, you can't be a homesteader without a home. Unfortunately, you'll need to start off with a tent. Not the most sturdy of structures, but eh, gotta start somewhere. That'll keep the elements out. Probably. Maybe. Don't worry. You'll get the materials to build a proper house before long. Just like your Aunt Matilda did. Now, the second right demonstrates your botany know-how. You'll need to plant a seedling and then make it grow. We'll start with a little rock favorite. Corn. Right? Now I want to see you cast a watering spell. Should help it grow at least a little of course channeling is much more effective you do know how to channel right yeah obviously well in that case you can give me a demonstration right Imagine if you couldn't channel, huh? 
your plants would take forever to grow. Of course, you don't want to overdo it and blight the poor thing. All things in moderation, right? The second ride is complete, and now time for the third. You'll prove yourself as a witch by building a cauldron and then brewing spell potions. Now, I can't just give you a cauldron. That's part of the witching test. But technically, a workbench doesn't have anything to do with being a... nag, but are you sure that's the best place for it? Try moving it to a better spot. Hmm. Not sure if that's a good spot. Anyway, the call... You can get some... Very nice. All it needs now is something brewing in there, and which brings me to the third right. Potion making. With what you've currently got, you'd only be able to make a ripple potion. But that's all right. Ripple is plenty useful. Oh, right. You need silver. Before you ask, I do have some on me, but, uh, these will be the last of the handouts.
people are always losing things, right? And Ripple is great for finding stuff. So this will be a bestseller for sure. Anywho, you've just completed the initiation rites. So you're now officially a part of the Homestead Arcana program. Congratulations. Your reward lies in... in... Oh no. But you have to understand, the miasmatides are unpredictable. When I hit it a week ago, the border was a good ten yards away. What I'm saying is, I think your prize is in the miasma. Yeah, it's not good at all. Mm. <sighs> I was hoping it wasn't going to come to this. Well, not so soon, anyway. When you're ready, meet me by the border and listen to my instructions, okay? As soon as you walk through that veil, you're gonna be breathing miasma, and you're really gonna feel it in your lungs. That's why it's important that you find the reward as soon as possible. It's in a crate not too far from here, but it might be hard to see it. Drinking a ripple potion will enchant your sight and help you see better. Come on, give it a sip. Hey, where are you going? That's the miasma. You don't want to go there. Come back. Notice <laughs> how I'm big and bright? Anything important will light up like I do. Okay. Don't stay too long in the miasma. Keep an eye out for a wooden crate. It shouldn't be too far from the entrance.
You okay? Are you dizzy? How's your breath? Your blood pressure? Are you sure? Maybe it's some miasma talking. Either way, we need to get you some food. The box had blasting powder, right? You should be able to use it to destroy the pink stone that's blocking the path up north. Over there, we should be able to get you a quick bite to eat. Crab apple, give it a bite. Feeling better? You should keep looking around here, by the way. Lots of wood, metal, various herbs. Now, I understand that you might want to explore the miasma some more, but there are other things you can be doing. For example, Abraham should be coming back any time now. And when he does, he'll have useful things to buy. And, oh, I think you have mail. You should always be checking your mail. Never know what's going to be in there.
Yep, always check your mail. And your packages, too. And, um, make sure to take advantage when Abraham's here so you can sell your produce for silver. Wait, I, I already said that, did I? Look, I know you want to go back into the miasma. Just remember when you're in there that the town still needs you. When you want to go back in there, talk to me. I'll give you a device that'll help you breathe easy. This is a mask for protection. It won't stop the poison from reaching your lungs, but it'll slow it down. Tilly, your Aunt Matilda, found it years ago during one of our expeditions. Again, it's not going to make you invincible, and it definitely won't protect you from the wildlife out there. But it's better than nothing. Anyway, if you're insisting on going out into the miasma, you might as well try and find something useful, I guess. Tilly's old homestead isn't far from here. Maybe you can find her grill. That way you don't have to keep eating raw apples and corn. <laughs> <laughs> 